Well, hello. Um, time to do a really huge awards update. I'm going to be covering uh, the nominations for the 2012 Los Angeles Film Critics uh, Awards uh, nominations. The the Detroit Film Critics uh, Society's uh, 2012 nominations. Um, I'm going to talk about the Boston Society of Film Critics winners and the Critics' Choice uh, Movie Awards nominations. Uh, let's start out with the 2012 Los Angeles Film Critics Award winners. Uh, for Best Picture, uh, the runner-up was The Master, but the winner was Amour, uh, the French movie that won the Palme d'Or. Amour won the Palme d'Or. Um, actually, it's online right now, and I watched 30 minutes of it. It's really, really well made. It's just, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's a good movie. It's, I don't know if I can personally sit through it. It's, it's a good movie, though, so far, what I've seen. I don't know. I might finish it, but it's good. Don't get me wrong. Don't call me an asshole, but, like, it, it's good so far. It's really good so far. The actress is very good, uh, which I'll get into in a minute. Uh, best actor, the runner-up was Dennis Levant from Holy Motors, who I'm hearing good things about. I don't think he really has a chance for the Oscars, though. If he's going to be like that minority choice, like that just one that comes out of nowhere, like Damien Bashir or Javier Bardem, it's just like, whoa. But the Best Actor Award went to Joaquin Phoenix. That is awesome to see. I don't know if this is going to boost his buzz at all, but he, you guys know this, he's my winner. He's, he's the guy who wins for me. Uh, I, I don't know how great Jamie Foxx and Bradley Cooper are going to be, but the, the, the Joaquin Phoenix is brilliant in that movie. Best Actress, it was a tie between Jennifer Lawrence and Emmanuel Riva. Uh, I, have, I have yet to see Silver Linings Playbook, as you guys know, but Emmanuel Riva, like I said, the more. What I've seen so far, she's great. Uh, really great. Best Supporting Actor, this is where I lose my shit, where it's just uh, in a good way, in a very good way. Um, the runner-up was Christoph Waltz, who is campaigning for supporting, uh, which when I do my uh, Oscar predictions, uh, my next Oscar predictions video, uh, I'm going to move him back to Best Supporting Actor race. But the winner, he is, he, oh my god, Dwight Henry won. I am so fucking happy. I really need, I really want this guy to get more nominations or just wins around all these critics' awards because this guy was fantastic. This was one of the most powerful performances of this year, and I'm so glad the Los Angeles Film Critics Awards really, you know, focused on that because Dwight Henry, really powerhouse performance. Uh, I, I'm sort of surprised they didn't do a three-way tie, Jennifer Lawrence, Emmanuel Riva, and Quivajne Wallace, but still, I'm still fucking happy Dwight Henry won. Uh, Best Supporting Actress, Amy Adams won, which is great, and uh, Anne Hathaway uh came runner-up for Les Mis and The Dark Knight Rises. Here's the thing about Les Mis. I'll see it, all right, if I have enough time on Christmas, because for sure I'm seeing Django on Christmas. But if I have enough time, or, like, if... I don't know how long Les Mis is going to be. I don't think it's going to be as long as Django, but I might see it. I'll I'll probably definitely see it before the end of the year, but I don't know. I... That movie looks really mad to me. Best uh, Director went to Paul Thomas Anderson for The Master. That's awesome. Uh, the runner-up was Catherine Bigelow for Zero Dark Thirty. That's really good to hear. Um, I, I can't wait for Zero Dark Thirty. It's going to be great. Best Screenplay went to Argo. And Silver Linings Playbook came in second. I, I don't know. Argo. Argo's script to me was far from perfect. I, I think that movie's far from perfect, but it's a good, solid film. Best Editing went to Zero Dark Thirty. Argo came in second. I can understand that. All right. Best Cinematography went to Skyfall. That's good to hear. Personally, The Master had, like, the most breathtaking uh, cinematography of the year, and uh, that came in second. Uh, Best Documentary, I don't care. The Gatekeepers won, so I don't know if that means anything. Best Animated Film. What the fuck is up with Frank and Weenie taking all these awards uh, for Best Animated Film, like, across the board? It's, like, it's really frustrating. I hated that movie. Um, and the runner-up was this movie called It's Such a Beautiful Day. Um, best Music Score, Beast of the Southern Wild one, which is awesome. Uh, the Master uh, came in second place. The runner-up, personally, that's my favorite. That was such a haunting score. It was great. And uh, Best Production Design went to The Master. Moonrise Kingdom came in second place. All right, I, I'm really happy with these. I'm really, really happy with these. One of the some of the best nominations and winners that I've seen in a while. All right, going to the Detroit Film Critics Society, um, we have uh, Best Picture, Argo, The Impossible, Silver Linings Playbook, Take This Waltz. It's a good movie, but whoa, that just came out of nowhere. And Zero Dark Thirty. Okay, I'm not. 
complaining really. Uh, best director Ben Affleck, Argo, Juan Antonio Bayona for The Impossible, Catherine Bigelow for uh, Zero Dark Thirty, Sarah Pauly for Take This Waltz. I know it's weird. <coughs> well directed movie. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yes, yeah, sir. So far, they did a really good job. I really like her. But um, wow, just take this waltz coming out of nowhere. And David O. Russell for uh, Silver Linings Playbook. Best actor: um, Bradley Cooper. Silver Linings. John Hawks. The Sessions. People are telling me John Hawks is campaigning for supporting. Fucking shut up. Uh, shut up, Jason. You idiot. You suck. Um, J Daniel Day Lewis. Uh, Lincoln. Bill Murray. It's good to see. Him in there. I, that movie isn't getting good buzz. The only the only person who really loved that movie was Rex Reed. Yeah, I know. Um, and Joaquin Phoenix for The Master. Best Actress, Jessica Chastain for Zero Dark Thirty. Greta Gerwig for Damsels in Distress. You see, I saw these yesterday. I, I looked at these yesterday, and I was so worried. When I saw Greta Gerwig's name right next to it, I thought it was going to be Lola Versus. Don't see Lola Versus. The movie sucked, and she gave one of the worst performances of the year. Oh, my God. But I didn't see Damsels in Distress. I heard she was good in that, but holy crap. She has been in a bad streak of roles, Greta Gerwig. I haven't really liked her much since Greenberg at all. I think that's, like, the only thing I like her in is Greenberg. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence, Silver Linings Playbook, um, Naomi Watts for The Impossible. And it's nice to see Michelle Williams in there for Take This Wall. Um, Best Supporting Actor, uh, six nominees. Awesome. Uh, Robert De Niro for Silver Linings. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman for The Master. Tommy Lee Jones for Lincoln. Uh, the, uh, both of those two haven't been really, you know, tearing up the award season quite yet, so I'm kind of happy about that. I really loved Philip Seymour Hoffman in The Master, and if he gets nominated, I, uh, of course, will be happy, but still. Um, Tommy Lee Jones hasn't been getting as much buzz as I thought he was going to be, which I'm really happy about. I still think he's going to get a nomination. I don't want him to, but whatever. Uh, Matthew McConaughey for Magic Mike, he's great in that, really great. I, that's a performance that really is memorable, and if he, get, if he gets nominated for that, great. But, I, I, you know, you still have tons of movies coming out, like Not Fade Away and Zero Dark Thirty and Django Unchained, where there's going to be tons of supporting players and those. Uh, and I don't know, I, th I think they're gonna, there's a, quite a few people that might top Matthew McConaughey for me, but I still think he'll be in my top ten best supporting actor drama by the end of the year. I still really liked him in that movie, a lot of love him in that movie. Quite frank, Hugh and McGregor for The Impossible. Um, he's been getting a good amount of buzz. That movie's been getting, you know, a good amount of buzz. The movie I think comes out a limited release next week. That's, you know, I, I'll see it if it comes near me, but I don't know if I'll get to see it by the end of the year. Uh, Ezra Miller, Perks. I'll get into that in a second. All right, that's fucking awesome. That Ezra Miller uh, is going. I'm not going to say anymore. I'm going to when I get to Boston Society of Film Critics, you'll. Just gave it away, but still, awesome. Supporting actress Amy Adams, Master, and Dowd is getting, like, so many nominations for compliance. Whenever I see supporting actress nominations, I see her. And the, and the current top five that they have, I think that's, like, my top five uh, predictions for supporting actress. So we have Amy Adams, and Dowd, Sally Fields for Lincoln. Really didn't like that performance, but she'll get nominated. Anne Hathaway, Les Mis, and Helen Hunt with Sessions. Nothing wrong. Uh, best Ensemble, Argo, The Avengers, Lincoln, Moonrise Kingdom, and Silver Linings. I agree with all those. I, I would have personally replaced, uh, what's it, uh, Seven Psychopaths with The Avengers. Uh, I, Avengers with Seven Psychopaths, I mean, but still. Breakthrough, breakthrough Performance, which I guess they mean, like, writer or director or performance, because there's, there's like, three, three, writer, three directors... One writer slash actress and one actress. It's weird. Stephen Chbosky for The Perks of Being a Wallflower. It's great. Zoe Kazan for Ruby Sparks. It's great. Rebel Wilson for Pitch Perfect. Okay. Ben Zeitlin for Beast of the Southern Wild. And Craig Zobel, the director of Compliance. So that's really good to see. Best screenplay. This is where I lose my shit and enjoy because, oh my god, these first two, you guys know, my two favorite movies of the year. And they're just, I, oh, oh my god. Perks of Being a Wallflower, Cabin in the Woods. Those two, I don't even need to keep reading. They're probably not even going to win, but still, that's so fucking cool that they won, that they were nominated. That's awesome. Cabin in the Woods, one of the best screenplays of the year. Perks, rewatched that last night. Still my favorite movie of the year. Lincoln, whatever. Uh, that was a fucking history book, all right? And it wasn't even a great history book. It was just like if you were in school and reading it. It was, it was a good script, but still, leave me alone. Sarah Pauly for Take This Wall. It's good to see. It's a good script. David O. Russell, Silver Linings Playbook. 
Um, and best documentary, How's I Live in the Imposter, Zero Dreams of Sushi, which I saw, it's a good movie, Queen of Versailles, and Searching for Sugar. So those were the Detroit uh, Film Critics Association. For the Boston Society of Film Critics winners, for best picture, Zero Dark Thirty, okay. Best actor, Daniel Day-Lewis, okay. Best actress, Emmanuel L. Riva for Amour, okay. Supporting actress, Sally Field for Lincoln, okay. Best director, Catherine Bigelow, for Zero Dark Thirty, okay. Best screenplay, Tony Kushner, Lincoln, okay. Best Documentary, How to Survive a Play, okay. Um, best Cinematography, The Master, okay. Foreign Language Film, Amour, okay. Best Animated Film, Frank and Waiting, okay. Um, best Film Editing, Zero Dark Thirty, okay. Best New Filmmaker, David France for How to Survive a Plague, okay. Best Ensemble, fucking yes, Seven Psychopaths, awesome, awesome. And Best Use of Music in a Film, Moonrise Kingdom, awesome. But the one I want to talk about, and I am so this might put him on the map for more buzz. It deserves it. I hope the the, the Academy voters watch this movie and they love it and they nominate it for a couple things. I'm just hoping for this. Ezra Miller won for Perks of Being a Wallflower. I'm so fucking happy about that. He was fantastic in that film. Uh, oh my God, Ezra Miller was great. But oh, oh my God, like I I'm just hoping that that movie gets adapted screenplay nomination supporting actor. And I think they have a pretty good chance for both. More, more so adapted screenplay, I think, has a better chance. But Ezra Miller, if he gets nominated, I thank Jesus. Awesome. Um, let's check my time. 11 minutes. Jesus. Okay. And Best Critics. And the Critics' Choice Awards uh, nominations came out today. All right. Uh, let's look at these. Um, best Picture, Argo, Beasts of the Southern Wild, Django Unchained, Les Mis, Life of Pi, Lincoln, The Master, Moonrise Kingdom, Silver Linings, Playbook, Zero Dark Thirty. No surprises, really, at all. No, there isn't. There really isn't. Um, best Actor, Bradley Cooper, Silver Linings, Daniel Day-Lewis, Lincoln, John Hawks, and Sessions, Hugh Jackman, Les Mis, Joaquin Phoenix, The Master, and then The Washington Flight. No shocks at all. Um, best Actress, Jessica Chastain, Zero Dark Thirty, Marion Cotillard, Rusted Bone, Jennifer Lawrence, Silver Linings Playbook, Emmanuel Riva, Amour, Quavajne Wallace, Beast of the Southern Wild, and Naomi, Naomi Watch for The Impossible. No shocks at all. Best Supporting Actor, um, Alan Arkin. Argo, whatever. I don't see what's so special about that performance. He was great. He was really good, but uh, I was going to say great. Well, I thought he was really good, but I don't really think there was much to that character. Uh, Javier Bardem for Skyfall. It's nice to see in there. He's great. Robert De Niro for Silver Linings. Uh, that's great. Still, I really want to see that movie. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman for The Master. Yeah, he's great. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones for Lincoln and Matthew McConaughey for Magic Mike. That's great to see. Great, great, great to see Matthew McConaughey. Um, supporting actress Amy Adams, the master. Cool. Judy, Judy Dench. Like, uh, people are like trying to campaign Judy Dench for Skyfall. I'm like, what? Jesus Christ. Anne Dowd for Compliance. That's great. Sally Field for Lincoln. Anne Hathaway for Les Mis and Helen Hunt. Concessions. Okay, no really, no, no shocks. Young actor, actress Elle Fanning, Ginger and Rosa. Kara Hayward, Moonrise Kingdom, awesome to see that. Tom Holland, uh, The Impossible. Logan Lerman and Shiraz Sharma, Quavajne Wallace. Logan Lerman and Shiraz Sharma, great, great choices. Oh, my God. Logan Lerman for Perks, Shiraz Sharma for Life of Pi. Quavajne Wallace for Beast. Really happy with this category. But uh, I don't know. They're probably going to pick, like, the most random person to, like, give it to. Because last year they gave it to fucking Tom, Thomas Horn. He sucked. He was terrible in that movie. He really brought that movie down. Acting ensemble, Argo, the best exotic Marigold Hotel. Like, it's a good ensemble cast, but geez, weird to nominate that. Um, Les Mis, okay. Lincoln, okay. Moonrise Kingdom, good. Silver Linings Playbook, good. Uh, best director, Ben Affleck, Catherine Bigelow, Tom Hooper, Ang Lee, David Russell, Steven Spielberg. Okay. Original screenplay, Quentin. Quentin Tarantino, Django. John Gatton's for Flight. I don't think the script for Flight should be nominated for original screenplay. I th it's been getting like, a good amount of buzz. There hasn't been like too many contenders for that category, but I'm still hoping Cabin in the Woods might get in. I know I might sound like a dumbass for saying that, but I still really want that to get nominated. For Flight is a really great script, but I, uh, like, there was a couple problems I had with that movie, the inconsistencies. If, you see the movie, if you've seen the movie, you, you hopefully know what I'm talking about, the whole storyline with Kelly Riley uh, and the weird you know, religious undertones that it has, but still, I move on. Looper got a nomination, whatever. Uh, the Master, I, I wasn't a fan of Looper, leave me alone. 
Um, Moonrise Kingdom, great. Mark Bowl for Zero Dark Thirty, great. Adapted screenplay. Argo, Life of Pi, Lincoln. Perks! Perks of being a wallflower! That's awesome! I am hoping that movie gets that fucking nomination for that. I would love them for that. Um, and David O. Russell for Silver Linings Playbook. Uh, cinematography, Les Mis, Life of Pi, Lincoln, The Master, Skyfall. All good. Art direction, Anna Karenina, The Hobbit, Les Mis, Le Life of Pi, and uh, Lincoln. Uh, I haven't been hearing much about The Hobbit. I haven't really been hearing, you know, off-the-wall things about it, but I don't know. I, don't, I haven't really been hearing tons of things about it, so I don't know if that's a good thing or bad. But it could just, by the time the Oscar nominations come around, it could just get tons of nominations, which is weird. Um, best editing, Argo, Les Mis, Life of Pi, Lincoln, Zero Dark Thirty. Okay. Um, nothing really that wrong. In it. Costume design, Anna Karenina, Cloud Atlas, The Hobbit, another technical for The Hobbit. Les Mis, Lincoln, okay. Makeup, Cloud Atlas, The Hobbit, Les Mis, Lincoln, okay. Visual effects, uh, The Avengers, Cloud Atlas, Dark Knight Rises, Hobbit, Life of Pi, okay. Animated feature, Brave, Frankenween, Madagascar 3, Paranorman, Rise of the Guardians, and wreck and Ralph. I'm really happy to see Madagascar 3 in there. Like, I, I, you know, I really, really liked Madagascar 3 a lot. And I thought that movie was really, really charming. And I thought it was one of the best animated movies of the year. But I don't know. It's, it's really great to see that on here. I haven't seen, I, I haven't seen Madagascar 3 in any of the nominations for animated film uh, yet in the award season yet. But I'm still really happy that got nominated. I'm still hoping Paranorman ends up winning the Oscar. But Frank and Weenie wins, I'll be terrified. Uh, action movie, The Avengers, Dark Knight Rises, Looper, Skyfall. Okay. Actor in an action movie, Christian Bale, Dark Knight, Daniel Craig, Skyfall, Robert Downey Jr., Avengers, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Looper, and Jake Gyllenhaal, friend of watch. Actress in an action movie, Emily Blunt for Looper, Jesus, okay, really over-the-top performance to me, especially when she was cursing, I really didn't like that. All right, Gina Carano for Haywire, that's weird, that's really weird, I mean, in terms of, like, how she, did, how she, like, handled the action scenes. I thought she did a really good job. It, they fucking dubbed her voice. All right, they, they dubbed her voice in the movie. Like, why would they even count that as a performance? I don't know. I didn't think it was a bad performance, but I... Haywire, I, I kind of forgot about Haywire. It wasn't a bad movie, but I sort of forgot about it. Uh, Judy Dench, Skyfall. Okay. Anne Hathaway, Dark Knight. And Jennifer Lawrence. It, it's weird to see, like, all of these young actresses in here, like Emily Blunt, Gina Carano. And uh, Anne Hathaway and Jennifer Lawrence. And then you throw in an old lady, Judy Dench. I, 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 that sounds like an asshole thing to say, but whatever. Uh, best comedy, Bernie, Silver Linings, Ted, This is 40, 21 Jump Street. Awesome. Happy with all these. Uh, actor in a comedy, Jack Black, Bradley Cooper. Wait a minute. Was Bradley Cooper nominated for Best Actor, but he's nominated for Best Actor Comedy? I can do that? Okay. Um, yeah, let me just a second. Jack Black for Bernie. Bradley Cooper, Silver Linings, Paul Rudd, this is 40, that's cool, um, Channing, Channing Tatum, 21 Jump Street, that's awesome, and Mark Wahlberg for Ted, that's really cool, actress in a comedy, Mila Kunis, Ted, that's weird, but she's good, Jennifer Lawrence, Silver Linings, uh, Shirley MacLaine, from, really annoyed me in that movie, Shirley MacLaine, her performance, I think she overdid it a little bit, um, Leslie Mann for uh, This is 40, and Rebel Wilson for Pitch Perfect, okay, uh, sci-fi horror movie, sci-fi slash horror movie, Cabin in the Woods, yes, uh, Looper, no, Prometheus was good, I, I didn't love it, but it was good, uh, foreign language film, Amour, The Untouchables, A Royal Affair, Rusted Bone, documentary feature, Bully, Bully got a nomination, weird, Central Park Five, The Imposter, Queen of Versailles, Searching for Sugarman, and West of Memphis, Song, uh, for You from Act of Valor, Learn Me Right from Brave, Skyfall from Skyfall, Still Alive from Paul Williams, Still Alive, and Suddenly from Les Mis. Okay. Really, I, I, saw, I saw this movie ten years, and Oscar Isaac sing, sings this awesome fucking song, Never Had. It's in my favorites, if you guys want to see it. It's fucking great. I, th I still think that song should be nominated. Um, and Best Score, the last nom uh, nominees is uh, Argo. Life of Pi. I, the score for Argo? I don't even remember a score for Argo, to be quite honest. The movie had a cool soundtrack, though. A lot of cool songs in there. Dance the night away. Yeah, it was a good soundtrack. Um, Life of Pi. 
Yeah, Lincoln. It's just a really... I don't even remember the score for Lincoln, to be quite honest. Uh, the Master, fucking yes, and Moonrise Kingdom. Two nominations for Alexander de Plot. That's awesome to see. I didn't even know he did the score for Argo. That's weird. Um, so, yeah, that was my reactions to four fucking awards. I'll see you guys later.